All right, so. <laughs> None of this is going to make sense because I'm just gonna grab every single shoe I have. These are Fioni. They are size 12, patent leather. Whenever I see a kitten heel, I always see this little right up the middle of the foot thing. They're both size 12. It looks like nobody ever wore them. I was just thinking about my mom because I felt like my voice kind of sounded like her and now she's calling me. Hold on. All right. Okay, so I had the patent leather pumps. This one, if I can find both of them. I can't reach it. Okay, our size 10s. Oh, and they're slippery as heck. The back of them look like they've never been touched. Made in Italy, size 41 and a half, which they say is a size 10. AGL, which everybody probably knows. Atalino Gistani Leo Membrani. Maybe if I go like this, you can see it. Oh yeah, that worked a little bit. There we go. Very long, long, long name. <laughs> the toes don't have any wear, so no toe wear. So we have these. We have a pair of Keds, and the reason why I got them should be obvious. They have stars. Stars! And they're actually trying to get my hand to make it a little darker. There we go. They don't look too worn. So yeah, some Keds. A size six and a half, black and gold. And then these guys are men's seven and a half, red, black, and silver. They are the 13 bottoms aren't worn. The name is always up here on the, the tongue. They're glycerins right there, glycerin 13s. So those are glycerins, which are for a higher arch. They have a little bit of wear to them, but not totally horrible. Goodness me. These are Converse. And you'll think like, you just bought Converse. Yeah, I just bought Converse. They are in amazing condition. I would say immaculate condition. It says four. Oh, four UK. So these are size six and Converse. And the awesome part is, is that they are double tag. So you're supposed to put them on, tie them, fold that down like so, and have that sticking up. So, man, these shoes actually smell kind of new. That's weird. But yeah, so looks like there's a little water spottage up here. It's not as bad as the camera's picking up. See, that's why you always check. This says, this says size eight on the sticker, but it definitely says size six inside. So that's why you always, you don't go by the sticker they stick inside of it because this is definitely a size six. So we have Brooks, by the way, it was a Brooks. The red ones, all right. So if you hear any noises, it's totally just my dog. These are awesome that I even have them. I hate when they use Sharpie on the bottoms of these shoes. These are never worn, never worn Donald Pliner. I think it says size 10. Look at these loafers. I wanna say like an elephant gray. You have little stones, little uh, buttons, and little suede buttons that match the shoe. A little heel, heeled loafer. And you have Donald Pliner. Ooh, they're a Lyle, L-Y-L-E, size 10. Nothing on the bottom of the shoe that indicates that it was even stepped on. There is a little heel wear, so somebody did wear this, but they did not pivot on their foot whatsoever. These, this, these. These are super cute. These are Circus by Sam Edelman, our seven and a half Bonita. These are little strappy doos, as you can see, very cute. I like the back buckle here, that's cute. And then you have the buckles here, the straps. I got distracted with the straps. You got yourself a nude with that. And then you have the same lady that had the original patent leather that didn't look like they ever got worn. Has lower east side. These are patent leather nude flats and they are a size 12. Reseller life. I have no wear or tear. Feel soft on the inside. Simple, comfortable. They are a size 12. 
They are size 12. If you want to bundle any shoes together that are size 12s, you can definitely do that because these are also patent leather. These are white. They have animal print on the inside and they are CL by Laundry. If you can CL that, if you can see that. And they have, they have no wear at all. These weren't worn. They looked like they were tried on. No wear on them. That would be a kitten heel. And then, that was my phone, ignore that. <laughs> but these are super adorable, super. I can definitely say these are adorable. They are tan, thick heeled and denim, open toe. They have the lace up with actual shoelaces. The ends are amazing. They are size 11, but it just says establish, it says C, can you see? That C established 1946. I've seen this before and I think that's just the brand name. There is not any real heel wear. It looks a lot darker than it does in person. It's pretty amazing how that works with this camera light. No wear on the actual shoe. But yeah, they're size 11s. All my 11s out there and 12s. I need to get with this one. This is awesome. These are cute. Next are these. It is like an iridescent floral and the cracking is made to be that way an intentional cracking you can tell specifically around the flowers because they look like petals these are dance co xps and they're a size 37 the only wear that it has is somebody had a little bit of a walking on the outside of their heels but yes so these were the last ones in this immediate haul but like i said i went out to my vehicle and i came back because i was like i did miss one section of the store and when i came back i looked at that section and i found these boom this is a cloth swimsuit material almost no damage on the heel zipper the workable zipper workable zipper gorgeous shoe a michael michael kors but it does have a little bit of slight slight heel wear nothing to call home about seven and a half do, 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 do. Any hoozles. So these are the ones that I went back in for, as well as these that I was not expecting to even see. Someone did love these a little more. So these are Carlos by Carlos Santana. Prospect, seven and a half. They both look like this on the heel. So it's just a little, there you go. Just a little bit of wear but not horribly and they both look like looks like this it is a super point look at my finger a little bit of wear on the toe itself but it's not noticeable and just so i can get the white balance with my pasty whiteness and then this look at that design that's amazing that's amazing. I want to say that would be called gator. It's a gator embossing, so it's not real gator. But you got the wood. They are seven and a halfs. I always check both to make sure. They're seven and a halfs, but as per usual, they always stick the wrong size in there. That's the last of it for July 11th, 2020. That took forever. Always takes me forever. But I did that all on one battery, so yay. <laughs> Look for the silver lining. These two being the last ones. A pair of Dance Co's, Keds, Converse, Brooks. Three size 12s in nude white and slip-on sandals. We also had some patent leather. Well, we had these guys. AGL. If I said suede, this is crushed velvet. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it! So if you guys could just subscribe if you're interested in seeing more hauls or like to see how I hopefully grow in this, um, trying to focus on how to keep myself organized. Also, uh, if you wanna see Palin, who is right here. And my closet's name is BBS617. So BBS, B as in boy, B as in boy, 
S is in Sam, 617. So if you want to go on there, you can use my code. It will get you $10 off. Bye, I guess. <laughs> if you have any questions or comments or size 10. <laughs> So just, if this is important to anybody, I put the dance codes at the bottom with the Brooks tennis shoes, and now I'm going to go sideways with the Converse and then the Keds at their toe boxes, so that way they're not actually smushing them. All right, so no smushage, smush, smushage. And then I'm going to do bigger heels and I'm going to make sure that the heels aren't actually jamming into anything so we don't cause any damage. Some flats, and I'm going to do this with the flats, if you're wondering, so that way they don't damage themselves. And then I'm gonna get the white pumps and make sure they don't go to the bottom. I'm gonna get the sandals and I'm gonna wedge them up on their sides so that way they're not smushed. These chunky heels are gonna go in between the Brooks and the dance goes. Go between them so their heels aren't weighing down on the shoes underneath them. And then I'm gonna go cattywampus with the crushed velvet so that way it's not actually leaning on anything. I'm gonna lay these on top of the crushed velvet because crushed velvet is soft. And then these are going to go on top very gently. And then these are going to go I'm gonna keep all the ones that can get hurt to the one side. So that way when I put the clothes on top of them, yes I am, I'm covering up anything that can be scratched. Except for the more expensive looking shoes, I'm keeping them out so I can see them. So I'm gonna grab these first, gently put them on top, and put the bras on top of the shoes as well as the swimsuits because they have no weight to them. The workout gear I'm going to put on top of the bras and the swimsuits because it's also lightweight. And then I'm going to take the dress because it is lightweight and I'm going to put it on top of the pants as like a buffer between them. And then I'm going to take this little lady and put it on top of the dress because it's white and I don't want there to be color transference. And then I want those too so I might actually not. Alright so color transference won't come from jeans. So I'm gonna I mean, not jeans, leather. And then these I want to keep, so I'm just going to put them on top and then separate them later. So now it's all loaded back up. I have bags left over. The dog has been fed. She is asleep right now. See, she's asleep. Yeah, always pace yourself. And happy future Halloween, happy fall. Pumpkins, pumpkin spice, pumpkin lattes, pumpkin patches, little roundy poos that are shaped like pumpkins, like this one. A little pumpkin nugget. Hey, right, pumpkin nugget. Oh, pumpkin nugget. Hey, baby, you're so pretty. Are you going to fart on me? <laughs> you guys have a good day. It is September 13th, 2020. A tropical storm turning into a category one. Sally is coming up the Florida coast. And we have plans to go to Universal Studios. So that's going to be fun. We have plans but we haven't actually set the plans into motion yet. So thank you quarantine to make it easier, hopefully to get a hotel, if that's what happens. Let's, let's hope getting a hotel is easier now. I feel like just rambling until the battery dies. It's just what I do. Maybe I should just push the button. Click. <laughs>